Everything you think, say, and do comes back to you. Hi, it's Roger from Positive Emotional Healing. Got some awesome value for you today. Now, everything you think, say, and do comes back to you now. It might be hard to believe, but I guess the mature you get and I guess the more experiences you have in life, everything you do, think, say, and do comes back to you. It, it's like a boomerang. It boomerangs around to you. If you're really young right now, you may not understand this. You may not comprehend this. You may think that you're autonomous and independent and that nothing, you know, you may think or say and do something and there's zero consequences. Well, <laughs> ask any person who's experienced life and had some, you know, interesting life experiences, uh, traveled and done stuff. And, and, and basically it's this, if you, if you do bad stuff, it boomerangs back to you. If you do good stuff, it comes back to you, but also with your thoughts Let's talk about thinking for a second. So how often do we think judgmental thoughts? How often do we think negative thoughts about others and ourselves? And just understanding that the, as we continue to think, if we continue to think negative thoughts about others, it boomerangs back to us where others will think negative thoughts about us. If we continue to say negative things about others, then others will say negative things about us. If we continue to do negative things to others, Others will do negative things to us. Everything you think, say, and do comes back to you. The flip side, the opposite, is true. It's definitely true. If you think positively towards others, others will think positively towards you. If you say positive things to others, others will say positive things to you. And if you do positive things for others, um, positive things will be done for you. Everything you think, say, and do comes back to you. Thinking is probably the trickiest one of this because so often we have this inbuilt tricky sort of negative thinking, judgmental thinking because we have that survival bias. Fight, flight, freeze, survive. We tend to judge things in order to survive. That's how we survive. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, is there a way that we can coexist in reality without judging everything in a negative manner? I remember I, in another video I talked about, I, the, uh, the other video which I, I, I did a recorder called I Know Why You're Negative, is human beings we have a, a negativity bias. We, we've learned, it's been stored in our DNA. We grew up with this, this uh, you know, if you, obviously, if, imagine a bird lands in front of you. You walk towards the bird, the bird takes off. The bird doesn't stay there. The bird has a negativity bias. An animal has a negativity bias. You go up to a dog that doesn't know you, um, it, it may bark or it may retreat or a cat. You don't know this cat, it will retreat, it will run away. It's a negativity bias. So we have that negativity bias as well as human beings. We tend to judge negatively anything that's unfamiliar or out of the ordinary because it's unknown, it's strange, it could be a threat to us. So everything you think, say and do comes back to you. But if, if we're in that habitual survival bias, that negativity bias all the time, uh, in the bigger universal sense, in the bigger universal picture, we're just creating more survival mentality so the more we think negatively about other people or things the more we tend to attract negativity to us from other people more people tend to think negatively about us now i'm talking about this is if you're an evolved person you want to move beyond you want to grow out of your stuckness well you might be stuck right now you might be depressed you might be grieving have a look at what you're putting out have a look at the are you thinking negatively are you saying negative things are you complaining are you playing a victim are uh, you doing negative stuff? Are you playing workplace politics? Are you d deliberately you know, doing negative things to disrupt other people's lives? Are you trolling people? It all comes back to you. And if you want to break out of that depression, break out of that PTSD, break out of that grief, break out of that phobia, break out of that social anxiety, break out of that self-imposed prison that you put yourself in, it starts with monitoring your thinking what you're saying, what you do, and make sure that you're giving out more good. You're thinking more good, you're thinking more positive stuff and saying and doing more positive than you are negative. That's a doorway for you to break free from that stuck place that you're in right now. And you can do that yourself. It just starts with you. You know, you, you've built that. You may have been a very negative, grumpy, victim-y, orientated person for most of your life. And now you can make a choice to, to think, say, and do things that are more positive, empowering to other people and yourself as, a, as a, a habitual way. And that will give you some momentum and energy to break free of the rut that you've put yourself into. Everything you think, say, and do comes to you. And that can be tricky because, you know, you've been programmed, as I mentioned in other videos, you've been programmed like a robot since birth. 
you observed your parents and your relatives, your culture that you're a part of, um, and you've been programmed to th- as how to think, say, and do things. You've been programmed. That's it. If you're Italian, you've been programmed to have to think, say, and do things like an Italian. If you've been maybe you're born in a part of Africa which doesn't like another part of Africa or another tribe, and you've been you've been programmed to think um, negatively and say negative things and do negative things towards that tribe. Um, but this is about you taking charge of your own programming, becoming free, setting yourself free from those chains that have been imposed upon you since you were born and before that, and, and so that you can break free and you can live a happier, more empowered life right now. Begin by thinking more positively about people, saying more positive things to people, doing more positives, and you'll find that that just boomerangs back to you. And that becomes an upward spiral that gives you momentum. Things start to build and build and build, and you get momentum and you move forward and, you, and you're able to lift yourself out of the, the, break the chains that you're in and lift yourself out of the self-imposed prison cell that you've, emotional prison cell that you've created for yourself. So everything you think, say, and do comes back to you. Now, it, it, it takes discipline. It's just something that you, you, you want to work at, work at every single day. If you're a habitually negative person, just ask yourself, am I really happy? Am I really happy with where I'm at in my life right now? And if you're not happy, then this is one of the, the first things you can do is change your thinking about others, about the external world. Change what you say about the external world. Be very careful about what comes out of your mouth. And, and what you do, especially because actions are very powerful, because actions are the culmination of what you say and think. They're, they're the end result of what you, you do, and they and they, they speak, actions speak louder than words, obviously, as they say. So you might think something and you might say something, but when you do it, um, it, um, it speaks volume. So that's why doing good deeds uh, often can make you think you know, better thoughts and make you say better things, you know, doing good to others, giving away money, giving away, helping others, someone in need or just doing something kind for others it can help you think better thoughts and say better words and as a result that steam rolls and builds momentum and you can do better things this is roger mcdonald from positive emotional healing just before i go i want to talk about my own life i mean i found this in my life um you know you could find in your life that you're you're doing positive things and you're saying positive things but you might have a very ingrained negative way of thinking and um that's what i had for my life I, i sort of had a real negative uh, negativity bias, a real judgmental way of thinking, and that had just been, you know, given to me by my parents and culturally, and it was a real critical way of approaching reality. and And I learned over time, and I guess through my own particular experiences in life, to to deliberately work at softening my attitude towards the the reality that I'm filtering in through my eyes. As so I'm thinking more kinder thoughts to people, giving people the benefit of a doubt, treating people more kindly, thinking more, speaking kindly, to, more kindly to people. Uh, I found that that's um, helped me tremendously in terms of being happy and being at peace with reality. Um, so everything you think, say and do comes back to you. I hope you get some great value from this. This is Roger McDonald from Positive Emotional Healing. Make sure if you did like the video, click like and subscribe and share it if you found if you found some great value. And also check out our website, www.positiveemotionalhealing.com and our Facebook page and Instagram accounts. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this.